Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for um, actuarial exams. Today is time for a practice problem for exam P. Here we have some links with information about me and resources that I provide for studying for actuarial exams and also my contact email. I already posted this video bef uh, as an exercise before. Now it will be changed into a video on March 19, 2005. It's a good exercise for remembering what variance covariance matrix is, and you need to know it. Um, so we have a, a random vector consisting of random variables x1, x2, x3. Um, they have a multivariate distribution with the expected value 0, 0, 0. So each one of them has expected value of 0. And the variance covariance matrix that you see here. And what this matrix says is that the covariance of x1 with itself, so the entry in row 1, column 1, 4, which is the variance of x1, covariance of x1 with x1 is variance of x1, that's equal to 4. Covariance of x1 and x2, that's first row, second column, is 1.5. Covariance of x1 and x3, that's first row, third column, is 1. Covariance of x2 and x1 is 1.5, and it's the same as covariance of x1 and x2. Variance of x2 is 1. Covariance of x2 and x3 is 0.5. Covariance of x3 and x1 is 1. Covariance of x3 and x2 is 0.5. And variance of x3 is 1. If a random variable w is defined by the equation x1 equals ax2 plus bx3 plus w, and it is uncorrelated with the variables x2 and x3, then the coefficient a must equal, and you have five choices for this. Of course, this equation defining w is not explicit, but we can write w as x1 minus ax2 minus bx3. And then we know that covariance of w and x2 is supposed to be zero, uh, but that's covariance of x1 minus ax2 minus bx3 and x2. And covariance is linear in each of its variables. So we just rewrite it as covariance of x1 and x2 minus a of covariance of x2 and x2, which is variance x2, minus b times covariance of x3 and x2. And then we plug in the values there for these covariances and variance. Uh, from the matrix. So it becomes 1.5 minus a minus 0.5b equals 0. Covariance of w and x3 also is supposed to be 0. Um, but that's covariance of x1 minus ax2 minus bx3 with x3, which we then rewrite as covariance of x1 x3 minus a times covariance of x2 with x3 minus b times v covariance of x3 with x3, which is variance of x3. So this becomes 1 minus 0.5a minus b when we plug in the known values of these covariances and variance and that we get from the variance covariance matrix. But this implies that uh, if we solve both equations for 0.5b, or for b, really, then we would get uh, 3 minus 2a equal to 1 minus 0.5a. Um, yes, for b, really, because the, the first one will give us 0.5b, we need to multiply by 2, and then we'll get 3 minus 2a. And this means that 2 is equal to 1.5a, and a is equal to 4 thirds, which is answer b. Please remember this is copyrighted material. Good luck in your studies, and Good luck on the test.